My name is Asta Naini and today I'm back at my village. This is where I grew up. This is where I was raised uh, with the women, uh, the widow's village, the young children. And I'm so happy today to be a voice to my community and to show them that the path towards education is a beautiful one. And we're celebrating today. So happy that uh, this journey has been beautiful. It has been rocky, I'm not going to lie. And at some point I thought uh, education was for the few. But today this is a true testament of what God can do in your life. And I'm very happy for the opportunity given to me by Helen Kuraya and so many other girls who are behind me. I hope I can be a voice for them and I hope that they can look at me and believe in their dreams and what they want to achieve in their future. Uh, I would like to encourage the parents to see the beautiful, the beautiful fruits of educating your child and the power of giving your child um, the power to, to make a decision for themselves. They should not make the decision for the children because they themselves have, have the power or have the liberty. They know what it is they want with their lives. Like for example, me, I knew very well I wanted to go on with my education and thank God I was given that opportunity to do it. So I would like to encourage the parents to know that the children also have a voice and they want to achieve their education and the best thing they can do is empower them towards that journey. They say when you go to school you're going to pursue education 
but there's so many other lessons that come with it, the friendships that I made in between, the advice from my lecturers, and the lessons that I learned in between that everyone has a different journey. And most importantly, what I was taught, which is in my course, and, and I believe that is my purpose, to give back to the community. So when I was studying community development in psychology, I believe that is the most rewarding out of the fact that I made long-lasting friends and I had a good experience that, that pulled me out of the box and showed me a different experience in Nairobi away from the village. I also believe that the opportunity and the chance to do what I love, uh, community development and psychology, is the best reward I could have gotten. My name is Nelly Asiachi and I'm a, um, a sister and a best friend to Esther Naini and a daughter to Helen Kraya. So today is a, is, a, is, a, is a, for me it's a gratitude day, just to say thank you to God, say, to say thank you to Deista family, Deista University, for the knowledge we've been able to gain. For, me, for, for the times I've been with Esther, I'm a Sai, I'm a Sai girl, I've been able to understand that there's a lot in women that needs to be uh, put out. Women need to be empowered and it starts from within and we need to get support from our families, support from everyone surrounding us and including the government. So once we empower people, we empower the ladies to believe that they are able to do, not just to sit down and do the housework, but just to incorporate education and make whatever they know come to reality.